so much with how the characters look, with how the environments look and feel, with how the lighting is, with how the animation is. Sound is that other really massive component that really takes you to the home stretch. Oftentimes games focus in on the sound that the player's interacting with directly. For a game of this size, we have to spend a lot of attention on the sounds that you don't necessarily see, supporting the larger war. To get the best sounds possible, you can't just rely on sound libraries. You have got to go out and either create your own sounds or hear them live and real in the field. It's the only way to do it. The music is one of the most important elements, if you ask me. It basically creates your emotional connection to the game. I would say if we can get any more brassier out of the trumpets starting at 40, just let it have it at that point. The music for the game is being composed by Michael Giacchino. The big difference in how Michael is scoring this game is that he is scoring it as he would a film. We are basically scoring the game moment to moment for the player. Let's just do one run through without the timpani. Here we go. I wanted to reflect the chaos and the struggle that goes on when you're involved in a situation like this. The music isn't as linear, it isn't as thematic as it was in the past, it's just much more, oh my god, how am I going to survive this?